Drunken Paramedic. Starring Doug Stanhope as Drunken Paramedic. Tonight's episode, Drunken Paramedic. Rescue 12, I have a priority call. Please respond to a code 3 and a 39 Alpha. Rescue 12, please come in. Dispatch to Rescue 12, please come in. Rescue 12, do you copy? Rescue 12, do you copy? Rescue 12. We have a 54-year-old male who is choking. I have a basic life support unit on the scene. They are requesting paramedic unit assistance for an intubation. I don't touch her. What? How are you doing? They could, probably they're calling you. Rescue 12, come in, please. Do I, if you listen to my voice, can you tell her I haven't been drinking? I can smell it. Just, will you just do me a favor and just hit that button and just say that I'm, uh, Say I'm getting a cat out of a tree, and because that's get normal. A cat out of the tree. Yeah, just get it out because I can't drive like this. You're not in a tree though, and I can see you, and I can't. I will climb a tree for you. What? I, Listen, I can't. If I. Oh my God, you're gonna make me cry because I I'm can't sorry. do it. Okay, I, I don't want. Do I don't want to make you cry, but I, this morning I had to pull a dead guy out of a lake, oh. and it was very disturbing. And I had a few cocktails, but if you just tell them, they will send someone else, and I. Will not have to respond. Tree, I'm gonna push a button, and you just say, "Get a cat out of a tree." That's it. One, two, no, no, three. No, no, Sorry, Dad. Getting a cat on the tree. He's getting a cat out of a tree. This is Rescue Twelve. Go. Is that you, Parker? Yeah. I see. Him. No, actually, uh, Parker is. Uh, to be very honest with you, uh, intoxicated at a restaurant. Um, he smells loud, like alcohol. He's high. He's real high. Are you saying the paramedic is high, Hector? <clears throat> no! Ooh, no! Ooh, you made it way up in the air. I'm in a lot of trouble as it is. I'm already on probation. Don't say I'm high. He's got a flask, alcoholic flask, sticking out of his emergency bag. Oh, that's a Roger Hector. He is the only unit in the area who is certified. We need to know what to do with the patient. Tell him to just, just, just try that. What do you call it? Mm -hmm. The stomach thing. The squeezy, squeezy stomach thing. Can you just squeeze his stomach or her stomach? Make it sound like it was your idea. Do I have a queasy stomach? Yes. This is not my alcohol. I just sat at this table I'm and I'm not... I'm smelling you. you it's smell still like on me. This is ridiculous. My unit has pushed the chest. What is the next uh, stop to take with? Sorry. All right, the situation is now a 39 Delta. We don't have much time. I'm going to have to okay, talk to the other unit and oh. advise them on giving an emergency tracheotomy. Uh, geez, I don't... I don't know how to do a tracheotomy. That's... That's a neck thing, right? Because I told a couple of lies okay. on my resume. Relax. Just relax. A couple of lies on your resume. Listen, I get um, some books in my car, just stall for a second, and I'll tell them how to do the episiotomy. I've done this three times uh, before. Uh, hold on. Listen. You mean to tell me that this EMT has to get a manual, a book manual, to tell someone else how to do this? Manual? I, they have books. No, no, they, I have the directions. No, they're right here. You've been drinking, and if you read that wrong, it's still somebody's life in the I'll let you read it. I will let you no, read it. No, I'm not going to read it. I'm telling them the truth. Maybe this guy would just chew his food. He wouldn't be choking on. Well, you're going to do it. Someone's going to have to read this, no, too. Are you a man? Someone, then deal with your consequences. Someone's going to have to read those directions. No, I'm telling them the truth. But then you still have I'll, to read I'll the directions. Read, I'll read the directions. You shut up because you're in trouble. I'm sorry. I've had enough of that. I'm sorry. I, he's been drinking, and I'll read these directions to you because he can't do it right now, okay? Uh, that's a Roger. Am I speaking to Debbie again? Yes, and I'm sorry I lied to you. And make a one to two 
inch incision. One to two? One to two inch incision below the Adam's apple. One to two, blow the Adam's apple. Oh, no, wait, that's, that's a half right. inch. Half inch, oh, but half inch incision. Say, say you made half inch. Say you screwed up. <laughs> you screwed up. You know what, I'm gonna call the police. All right, we've made the two inch incision. What is the next step? Oh, oh man, you. Uh. It says insert surgical tube into the trachea and create a seal around the tube. That's a Roger. Does it say how big a tube? No, it doesn't. Uh, any guess? Uh, have you any experience with this? Uh, ever have an emergency situation? No. They should have some sort of plastic tubing. I mean, I've seen it on TV. It done. Two inches. That sounds good. I saw it on TV one time. Do you remember the show? ER? That's to Roger. Roger. Cheryl, you're a true hero. Just stand by. We're getting through this. Hang on. All right, Hector, the patient seems to be stabilized now. It looks oh, like your advice helped quite a bit. You've saved the patient's life, Hector. Say no. Is that guy in the tree is the best paramedic I've worked with? The guy, he, he does a great work. And he got the cat out too. He got the cat Meow. down with him. Subdue the hemorrhagic cardiac arrest by probing deeper into the anal subterfuge. Control bleeding by gauze in the stratified squamous something into the superior rectal vein. At this time, the acutely thrombosed victim will realize that Fox's nastiest camera tricks is the reason for their pain. You've been had. <laughs> Debbie, do you copy, Debbie? Just read it, Donald. Time is of the essence. Donald, what's it saying? What do you mean by you've been had? <laughs> 